Hey, you guys. Thanks for listening to this episode of Tips with T. Today, I have Miss Melanie with us. How are you doing today, Miss Melanie? Well, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being on the show. So tell us more about yourself and what you do. Um, so my name is Melanie McSally. I am a profit optimization and technology expert. I have a um, degree in computer science and a master's in engineering management. Um, and I'm most known for uh, spending over a decade at Harvard University, helping them to streamline and optimize their IT department and their communications with the rest of the university. Um, but uh, I didn't start there, right? Um, while I have a number of degrees and successes in life, I um, started by being bullied in school. Um, and so I, I actually hated school. I, uh, I had associated it with bullying and, and, um, and, and being tormented. And so um, I just wanted to be done with school. When it was time to graduate and go on to college, I wanted that to be the end of it. Um, but my mom was having none of that. So, uh, so she encouraged me to go on to school to find something that I could be passionate about. So my first um, bit into schooling was, um, or college I should say, was pastry arts. So um, I went to a pastry school and I had some early successes there. And um, because of that, a lot of my peers in school started to look to me to find out how I was um, getting success so early. And so I started to um, change my mindset around the associated with a negative, with a positive, um, but then also that you can be in charge of your own destiny, even when you're not in control. And so I, I learned that that wasn't the field for me, but it really helped me with my mindset for the rest of uh, my career and then, you know, going into entrepreneurship. Well, that's awesome. Um, it's, fair, it's, it's funny how our life experiences change things, but it's, it all works together. So that's a good thing about it, because if we haven't gone through that, you know, you haven't gone through being bullied in your childhood, you probably wouldn't be to where you were today. So that's, it all plays a part. Um, so tell us, how was your experience making your first dollar? Okay, so um, again, it goes back to mindset issues. Um, so I... I had this mindset that um, that becoming an entrepreneur, starting a new business was a struggle, that you'd have to face a lot of hurdles, that you'd have to be broke, that you'd um, you know have to do a lot of things you didn't know how to do. And quite frankly, it scared me. Um, I liked being good at what I was doing and to have to tackle something that was so unfamiliar and had so many challenges all at once and, um, you know, facing the um, daunting reality that you, you, could, you could go broke before you um, became successful just sort of scared me. Uh, but I'm also an athlete and so I realized that I'm best when I'm under pressure and facing a challenge. And I thought, well, why does this have to be any different? So I decided to challenge myself, since I'm in process optimization, to see how fast I could make my first dollar. And so it took 37 days. And, um, and the reason for that is that I just, you know, kept failing fast. Uh, and, and pivoting and, and trying something new until I landed on something that worked. And even when I made my first dollar, uh, you know, I didn't go from one dollar to huge success overnight. I still kept failing and kept um, learning from those failures and, and uh, pivoting and, you know, looking for the opportunities to be successful. Yeah. Um it's never an overnight success. I'm learning with being an entrepreneur, you have to have patience with yourself. Um, things does change, technology changes, um, the way we do things often change. So you have to leave some type of room for error. So yeah, so it's definitely a process, definitely takes time to get to that point where you need to be. Um, so how can we make profit 
um, not just making money using technology strings. Yeah, so I just wanna go back for one sec on the previous question because I think not just um, having patience in yourself, but like having forg forgiveness for yourself. So, you know, one of the things I had to learn is like, you're not gonna be great at everything and um, learning something takes time. So, you know, the old saying, you have to take two steps backwards to take, or take one step backwards to take two steps forward. Mm -hmm. um, I think that comes up a lot in entrepreneurship is, you know, you're not gonna be great at everything from day one, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, you know, like I said, I made my first dollar in 37 days, but dollar doesn't mean profits. Okay. <laughs> uh, so there's a huge difference between making money and, um, you know, having enough money to cover all of your expenses and, um, and have some profit in the bank. So, um, so there's, you know, setting your foundation up to become successful, but then there's the sustained su successability, su success, sorry, um, to continue to elevate and elevate and elevate, uh, continue to bring your clients more value, continue to um, streamline your system so that you're um, spending less for more, you know, things like that. So, you know, just, um, you know, it, one hurdle is to make, to make money. Mm -hmm. But then the next hurdle is to overcome your expenses. Mm -hmm. And then the next hurdle is to be able to get to a place where you your business can run without you, right? Yeah. Um, to set yourself up for that, uh, you know, optimal expert. So, I mean, no, sorry, exit. So like, you know, uh, all these companies that have disrupted the market and then sold to to a Google or an Apple or something like that for top dollar. That's ultimately what you're looking for is how can I build something, become successful at it, and then sell it to somebody who will pay me top dollar for it. Mm -hmm. Awesome, and so that's what you teach your clients to do, correct? So I teach my clients how to get from the start line to the profitability line and then maximize on that profitability. Um, I have I have clients and partners that will take them that extra mile how to get top dollar for um, selling your business, but that piece I don't do myself. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, um, whenever you got to that point where you started to see the actual profit of your business, how was that for you? How was that experience for you? I mean. It's fantastic. I live a laptop lifestyle. I get to travel all over the world to help businesses. Um, but I get to do that because my business runs all by itself, right? Mm -hmm. So, so you know, I can focus on bringing in new revenue. I can focus on engaging with clients on a deeper, more personal level. Um, but I don't have to do it all at once because I know that whatever I'm not focused on personally eyes on it right now mm -hmm. um i'm focused on it sort of automatically because it's all set up in the back end awesome awesome so um thank you for coming on the show today <laughs> giving us your tips and experiences i'm gonna show share your social handles and then you can talk more about the bundle that you're offering Okay, let's share. Okay. So this is Miss Melody social handles. Miss Melody, do you want to tell the people how they can find you if they would like to? Yeah, so um as you see there, you can find me on on all the popular social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. I'm not really all that active on YouTube just yet, but I'm um, launching something new in a couple of weeks. So um, so by the time this podcast goes live, you'll, you'll probably see it there. Um, and everything is just my name or my uh, first initial last name. Okay, cool. And tell us more about this three gifts to kick your automation? Yeah, so one of the big things, um, or the reason why I got into entrepreneurship is, um, you know, 
I focus on streamlining and optimizing through technology and infrastructure. And, um, and that's easy to do in the big corporations because they have the budgets and they have um, the teams, the infrastructure um, to, to help with that. But small businesses don't really have that. They don't have the funds, they don't have the teams. Oftentimes I'm working with solopreneurs so I wanted to build a company around meeting you where you're at, whether that be financially or um, your technological expertise. So wherever you're at, and then use infrastructure to elevate you to where you want to go to achieve your vision. And um, a lot of that is around um, uh, re-engineering that I've done in processes and workflows and teaching that to you. In some cases, it's uh, working side by side with you so you can build your automation and streamline your workflows based on my tried and true um, strategies. And in other times, it's actually done for you, you know, if you can, if you can afford that. So, um, so this is a gift. I like to um, invite people to meet me and get to know me through gifts because who doesn't like free stuff <laughs> so <laughs> um so this is a bundle of three things it's free to you all you have to do is text automation to 26786 and uh, you'll get these three things it's valued over 500 dollars um, the first thing i do is teach you my uh, re-engineered sales sales process um, and then teach you how to automate that for yourself so your entire process for sales from um, attraction all the way through follow-up and everything in between can be completely automated that way you can focus on building or whatever your genius is um, the second thing is the actual capture part is the first piece of the sales process. So capturing your exposure. So for instance, you know, all of um, your, your viewers, if they wanted to get in touch with me, um, how would I capture their information when they do reach out from, reach out to me? So I do an, um, I do a class on that. It's an actual boot camp where we do it together. We put yours in place for you, uh, or with you rather. And there's software, a very inexpensive software. It's less than 50 bucks. Um, and, um, and that helps you to capture all of that exposure and we give you the first month for free. So that's all that's included in that bundle. And again, you just text automation to 26786. That's great. That's awesome. So you guys, please take advantage of this free opportunity. It's I can't not express it enough. There's a lot of things that people can get for free and they don't take advantage of it when they should. So take advantage of this free opportunity. Look Miss Melody up, text her um, at automation to 26786 so you can get um, utilize these free services that she's trying to give. I think it's very, very awesome. I'm going to try my best to utilize them myself. Um, cause it's always good to learn new things and techniques to help grow your business. <laughs> so thank you, Ms. Melody for giving, um, the free giveaway. Hopefully people will take advantage of it once they listen to the podcast. Um, if your guys are trying to get in contact with me, you can contact me. Um, my number is 910-317-0396. My email is contact at mjfinancial.biz. You can schedule a consultation on my website at www.mjfinancial.biz. You can find this episode on Anchor, you guys, for the replay. And you can also find this video on my YouTube channel at MJ Financial um, Management. So you guys, please check it out. Thank you again, Ms. Melody, for coming on the show. I very appreciate you and all your tips that you gave today. Thank you for having me. It's been such a pleasure to be here and to, to get to know you and, and to, uh, to help your viewers in any way I can. Well, awesome. And thank you so much for that. And all right, you guys, we will see you on the next episode of Tips with Tea.